determination of pk of a weak acid using ph meter the principle behind this method is the strength of an acid is experimentally measured by determining its equilibrium constant or dissociation constant ka for example acetic acid ionizes as ch3coh ionizes as ch3coo minus plus h plus as shown in this equation for this reaction the equilibrium constant ka is given by ka is equal to concentration of h plus ions into concentration of ch3coo minus ions divided by concentration of acetic acid pka is a mode of expressing the acid strength that is its mathematical relation is pka is equal to minus log of ka and pka is determined by measuring the changes in ph of the acid solution at different amounts of base added during the titration of a weak acid with a strong base initially the ph of a solution rise gradually then more rapidly and varies sharply at the equivalence point for a very small quantity of the base added after equivalence point ph increases slightly on further addition of the base the equivalence point is determined by plotting the change in ph at different amounts of base added according to henderson hasselbalch equation ph is equal to pka plus log of concentration of salt by concentration of acid at half equivalence point concentration of salt is equal to concentration of acid and therefore ph at half equivalence point is pk of the weak acid for finding the change in ph during acid base titration potentiometer is employed for an acid base titration the indicator electrode has to be ph sensitive and therefore glass electrode is employed as indicator electrode saturated calomel electrode is used as the reference electrode now let us see a demonstration on this experiment for this experiment we have taken acetic acid as a weak acid now the instrument used for this experiment is digital potentiometer if there is a provision for determining ph it is also called ph meter the electrode assembly that is used is consisting of calomel electrode and glass electrode both are Uh, given in the form of combined electrode system which can be called as ph cell then we require titration setup and the reagents required are the sample weak acid solution that is acetic acid solution and standard naoh solution as a base now let us see how to perform this experiment first in a 100 ml clean beaker using 25 ml pipette 25 ml of the sample weak acid solution has to be pipetted out already we have 25 ml pipetted out acid solution in this beaker next the electrode assembly that is ph cell has to be immersed into the solution we have to be careful while handling the electrodes now we have to fill the base naoh into the burette already i have adjusted the level of base in the burette to zero before starting the titration the ph reading has to be noted from the ph meter it takes little time for stabilization for stirring purpose a clean glass rod 
has to be immersed into the acid solution. Now the pH is 3.23. The readings have to be tabulated in tabular column. First I am going to add 0 to 0 0.5 ml of base. I am going to add the base in increments of 0.5 ml. After every addition, the solution has to be stirred and the reading has to be noted down, which is nothing but pH reading. Now the reading is 4.02, we can see that the reading goes on increasing. Now I have added from 0 0.5 to 1. Now the reading is 4.39. Now it is 4.68. Now the pH reading is 5. Five point five six. Now we can see that there is abrupt rise in the pH which is indicating that the equivalence point has reached. The reading has hiked to 9.08. Now it is 11.29. After the abrupt increase, that is after the jump, 4 readings are more than enough. Now it is 11.73. Now the increase in pH will be small. Now 12.14. We can stop the titration with this. Before carrying out this experiment, one important thing which has to be noted is digital potentiometer that is where there is a provision for measuring pH that is pH meter has to be standardized using a buffer solution of known pH. 
The readings are tabulated in a tabular column as shown. After noting down the pH values from the pH meter during the titration, delta pH and delta pH by delta V readings have to be, delta pH by delta V values have to be calculated. For calculating delta pH values, second pH minus first pH reading has to be subtracted and it is written here. Likewise, third reading minus second reading is written in the next row. Same procedure has to be continued till the last reading. Later, using delta pH values, delta pH by delta V values have to be calculated. Delta V for this experiment is 0.5 because the difference in two successive addition in the volume of NaOH added is 0.5. So, by dividing delta pH values by 0.5, we will be getting delta pH by delta V values. After calculating these values, two graphs has to be plotted for this experiment. The graphs, the graphs are as shown. First graph is a derivative graph which is delta pH by delta V versus volume of NaOH added. In this graph, the peak corresponds to equivalence point for the experiment which we have carried out, the equivalence point has to be, the equivalence point which is determined is 3 cm cube. Then from this graph, half equivalence point has to be calculated. So, half equivalence point is 3 divided by 2 that is 1.5 cm cube. Then the second graph has to be plotted which is pH versus volume of NaOH added. This graph is titration graph. From this graph we have to look for pH at half equivalence point which is nothing but pK of the given weak acid. So, it was found from the graph that pK of the given weak acid that is acetic acid is 4.7. The probable viva questions are 